Hello everybody, welcome. It's uh, News Roundup number 107 and yet again we are, um, I don't know what the word is, enduring, certainly not the right word. The weather is just so wonderful here in England. We've had weeks of it now and it's a very rare thing so you'll have to excuse me because I'm talking about it yet again. Anyway, we've just got back from a lovely walk in the Peak District so um, I'm a little bit late doing this. Hopefully I'll stay awake before I fall asleep. Here we go. Happy doggy tail in the Daily Mail. 50-year-old Helen Smith from Hook in Hampshire is over the moon after be being reunited with her pet dog Snowy four years after she disappeared. Snowy, a 13-year-old Parson Russell Terrier, was playing in Helen's back garden when she vanished in a sus suspected theft in October 2010. But now the dog has been found wandering along a dual carriageway in Portsmouth, more than 40 miles away. Helen said, I was absolutely devastated when she was stolen. I did all I could to find her, but eventually resigned myself to having lost her for good. I broke down in tears when I got the phone call to say Snowy had been found. I was in complete shock. She added, I am eternally grateful I had Snowy microchipped. And good news in the Daily Express for Jackie Cook, 66, who lost her engagement ring 38 years ago, but has now got it back after a chance glimpse of an old photograph. The paper reports that Jackie never expected to see the ring again after daughter Claire buried it in the garden as a three-year-old in 1976. Eventually Jackie moved to a new house in Kent. But then she found some photos of her old home and posted them on a Facebook page, which led Tony, Cra Tony Crouch, who later lived in Jackie's former house, to contact her to say she had found the ring in the back garden when she was a child. Tony said she had kept it because she thought it was special to someone. Jackie said, I couldn't believe she found it in that garden by sheer chance. What a lovely story. I like today's news. It's happy. It's farewell to Jack Russell dog Daisy, who, says the Daily Mirror, was Britain's oldest dog. Daisy has died at the age of 23 and a half, over a hundred in human years. Her owner, Mark Barsby Finch, from Bishop Cleeve, Gloucestershire, said, She was with us all these years, and we'll miss her terribly. It's going to be difficult to get used to cooking for just the two of us now. Daisy used to have exactly what we ate. OK, maybe I was a bit premature saying it was all good news. Poor Daisy. Beware of the jellyfish. The Daily Express tells us that a warning has gone out telling Britain to prepare for a jellyfish invasion. Apparently this is going to be a bumper year for jellyfish and 500 sightings have already been reported to the Marine Conservation Society. Professor Brendan Godley of the University of Exeter said, We are not sure why, but the very mild winter probably meant more adults survived at depth. Someone has just bought a splendid piece of history for nearly £17,000. The Daily Express reports that the plane ticket Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain used to fly off for peace talks with Hitler in 1938 has been sold at an auction in London. Chamberlain visited Munich to approve Germany's occupation of part of Czechoslovakia in return for the promise that peace would continue. And when he returned to Britain, he famously, famously declared that war had been averted and he had secured peace for our time. There's no comment to make on that, is there? For reasons no one has yet explained, Fareham in Hampshire has been declared Britain's most car-dependent town. Figures published by the Office for National Statistics as part of a major international study on urban life show that there are 538.7 cars registered to addresses in Fareham for every 1,000 people living in the town, says the Daily Telegraph. 
People in Fareham are more than twice as reliant on cars as those in Manchester, Liverpool or Nottingham and almost twice as much as those in London and other major cities. Well, there we go. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, have a lovely week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.